this part of the overwhelming outcry against the plan to retrace the recover grazing routes across the country, the federal government is not showing signs of relenting. Saturday point findings reveal that stock routes popularly called grazing routes are currently being retracted or retraced and recovered by the federal government for headers to graze their cattle. The federal government said this was meant to address the clashes between herdsmen and farmers, although some of the routes are believed to have been encroached upon due to human activities. Saturday Point found out that the government had embarked on a process of identifying monuments along the routes in order to get the get them back as locations for cattle grazing. Contrary to the expectation of many Nigerians, particularly in South, that the grazing routes retracing and eventually recovery might not see the light of the day. Officials of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development told one of our correspondents on Friday that the routes recovery would go on. They, however, said it would be done mainly in non-conflict zones. They only started stated that routes that had been encroached upon as a result of the development of public infrastructure might be left out of the recovery exercise. The acting director, Animal Husbandry Department, winning Lai Shularin, stated that while cattle ranching had been one of the major options canvassed for headers, not every pastoralist would be able to afford ranching at the moment. She said there are some stock routes that we have across we have across the country and in the past in the past we had monuments along these stock routes particularly the primary stock routes in the course of farming or other human activities along those stock routes the monuments were altered but we know where they are so we are saying that some of them can be retraced and this is particularly for areas that are not encroached upon as of now. The pastoralists know this route and on some of these routes you will rise you will see the pieces of the monuments along them, like Larry added. So for those that are not encroached upon and are not in conflict zones, we will go ahead to retrace and guide the pastoralists along them. We didn't get to where we are today in one day and we so and so we cannot expect that every pastoralist should suddenly start ranching now. Some will still have to move, but let's keep the movements as safe as possible. And in areas that are not conflict zones, that is what I am saying. We are not going to retrace stock routes where there are infrastructures and are for the public good. Another official of the FMARD familiar with the development stated that the government was not happy with the killings associated with clashes between SME and farmers. The official who requested not to be named for lack of authorization explained that the stock route were in three classes. The source said, we need to create safe places that are easy for them, the elders, to graze their cattle so that they won't need to travel on the roads. We have primary and secondary stock routes and in some cases we have tertiary stock routes. Providing further explanation on the three classes of routes, the official said the primary stock routes are the major routes that scan in, in, in north to south direction from the Sahel to the coastal markets. And then there are some major routes that run interstate from the north while others run inter interstate the minister of agriculture and rural development sabu nanono had announced on thursday that the federal capital territory had 22 states had registered for the national livestock transformation plan as part of measures to establish grazing reserves in their domains he also announced that seven of these states had a marked 40, 400,000 acres of land for the initiative as the establishment of grazing reserves were currently ongoing in Nasarawa, Bono, Niger, Kaduna and some other states. 22 states and the Federal Capital Territory have registered with the NLCP office, out of which 10 states have created their own team, which have been trained by the Federal Office, Nano, no said. 
he explained that even seven of the ten states amassed about 19 grazing reserves for the implementation of the NLTP with a total land size of approximately 400,000 hectares. The NLCP was designed by the federal government to address the lingering farmer elder crisis across the country. The plan was inaugurated by Vice President Yemio Shibaju in 2018 at the uh, Gokoji Grazing Re Reserve in Mayubewa, local government area of Adamawa Seas. Hmm. You can imagine. You can imagine. <laughs> so they are still insisting on this uh, uh, grazing routes. Let them do ranching. They say they, it is not everybody that has a what it takes. So is it not a business if you don't have what it takes? So who, whose business is it? A lot of people have learned a, a hand work and they cannot even establish. So does it mean because they, can, they don't have money to buy the equipment they are supposed to use after learning their hand work or their uh, vocation? So they have to go and be inconveniencing other people. If you know that you cannot do that, then you just have to stop. So I don't know why government is just bringing effort. They have brought a water bee resources. They brought a ruga, this livestock or whatever. What is this so special? And I don't think whether a lot of people are taking notes because before 2015, we were not talking about all this uh, whatever. But since Buhari started inviting all those people from uh, where they are, wherever they are coming from, all this uh, Fulani Esmen, because all this, uh, this uh, visa at, uh, what is it called? Visa uh, arrival, visa on a, uh, arrival. I'm not seeing any peop uh, uh, people who are coming to this, to this country to do a viable business or that will be more beneficial to the people. It is just these uh, Fulanis that are using the opportunity to come. And that is the reason why he did that. Buhari brought uh, that uh, program. Now, you are bringing people into this country. Like I said before 2015, we were not having problem of, a uh, oh, this said uh, that, this said uh, that, that. And Buhari confirming is that uh, they are foreigners. So what are we talk, supposed to be talking? And that is why he wants to do the right thing. Because if you think about this whole thing deeply, those communities who have accommodated these Fulanis, they will tell you that these people were not like this before. So the issue of a uh, grazing was not even the problem. But not until when Buari came on board, that is why that was when everything escalated from from that time. Hmm. Well, Nigeria may be on the path of total division. Is look as if its self-made calamity is looming. Some people somewhere are hell-bent on scattering this country and their hearts have become hardened. Their hearts are hardened because they trust in chariots and other war weapons, but they will be disappointed. This is the time for Nigerians at home and in the diaspora to pray fervently for our land. That is true. It is located at a Daura Castina in Northeast. Please stop searching and follow this uh, compass. You will surely recover them all. Who is providing land for farmers and shops for traders? Every other Nigerian caters for their own business. Why the federal government caters for the Fulani headers? Not every header can afford ranchy. That is their argument for forcing some same killer s men on indigenous against the people's will. Why would you keep dishing out evil and injustice and still want people to love and praise you? Keep dividing nigeria yourself and looking for whom to blame indeed you are seriously losing potent as a president i really sympathize you with pc because people are stronger than you and all your security agents though if it is in the north there will be no problem but we never work in the south this man really wants to cause war honestly because southern nigeria will never agree so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this